Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza, this is the third hour of today. The job market is rebounding just as the class of 2021 is graduating, but landing one is easier said than done. NBC News correspondent and host of Stay Tuned, Savannah Selleck, she's right I next know, to me. I can't believe so how close great. we get to see her. I know, right? <laughs> so what yeah. are job seekers even facing. Yeah. Going They're into the facing job a lot. It's tough and it's kind of surprising because earlier this month the US reported a record high of 8.1 million job openings in March, but there are still a lot of those recent grads who aren't finding those jobs. I reached out to our Gen Z audience at Stay Tuned to find out what they're looking for and what the job search is really looking like for them right now. Job search has been pretty hard. I went looking for a job, applied for maybe 100 jobs a day. Another class of Gen Zers is graduating college and ready to enter the workforce. But after a unique senior year, starting the job hunt feels a bit odd. It feels very intangible. I'm fixing my resume, I'm sending it to people. It doesn't feel like anything's actually happening. It just feels as fake as anything else. Sarah Murphy earned her recreation studies degree from Ohio University in May. I don't think it's very likely that I'm going to find a job immediately in my field, so I've just kind of branched out. Are you nervous about the job market, given that 2020 grads are, in many cases, still looking for a job? If I think about it, I get really nervous, and the rest of me is like, I'm. if I work at Aldi for a couple years, I've come to terms with that. Gen Z is graduating into a much better job market this year than last year, dramatically better. And for many in Gen Z, if they want a job, and they're willing to consider other industries, there are jobs out there. Jason Dorsey's firm does generational research and consults with companies on the best ways to attract Gen Z talent. I hear from employers every day who cannot find good candidates or applicants. One report projects that employers will hire 7.2% more new grads this year than in 2020. But if you really want to hire Gen Z, you need to present it in a way that they trust, on platforms that they trust, on things that they're used to. So the companies that want to hire Gen Z are learning to meet them where they are, building out career sites to have an almost social media-esque feel. My experiences at Target have been really meaningful to me. Even TikTok's getting in on it. The company confirmed to NBC News that it's testing out a pilot program that would let users search and apply for jobs via short videos. I've probably submitted like over a hundred applications in the last year. It may be a job seekers market, but it doesn't feel that way for Riley Hughes, who just graduated from Brown University. I'm not sure what's missing, but there seems to be miscommunication happening because I want a job and some people want to hire, so I would love to make that work. Catherine Wynn graduated from University of the Pacific a few weeks ago. She's an aspiring physical therapist and has been looking for a full-time job since January. Seeing the way COVID affected the community around me, it made people financially unstable really made me realize how important health kit like benefits and things like that were in my future. Experts are calling the pandemic the generation defining event for Gen Z, which after more than a year of great uncertainty is pushing them towards stability when it comes to their careers. Gen Z really wants benefits which is highly unusual for 22, 23, and 24 year olds. It's just so fascinating. They tell us they want retirement matching. They want to know about pet insurance, which is awesome. So for young job seekers, experts like Ken Lindner say the key is to keep an open mind and be flexible. If you're not getting a job through the conventional means, try something unconventional, network. I really do believe that this is a time for great optimism. It, this year is not like last year. And the ones doing the applying are doing their best to stay positive. Please, I would love for someone to hire me. I'm ready to start in September, so. It's just one day at a time. I keep feeding myself, I keep paying my bills, and it'll work out. One more thing our 2021 grads told me is that even though they missed out on a lot of a traditional senior year, unlike last year's class, they at least had the year to mentally prepare for graduating during a pandemic and they learned how to give presentations and really That's work cool. well remotely. So a lot of them actually feel lucky. It's a little silver lining and hopefully that good perspective yeah. will help them with the job search. Yeah. Sure. Are they can use that skill set later. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Absolutely. Are there any other trends that Gen Zers in particular are looking for in the workplace? Yeah, actually there are. And it might kind of surprise you based on what we're hearing 
hearing from other generations. Interestingly, while the pandemic has shown that we can work from home, one new report from ISIM says more than half of graduating seniors actually want to be in office several times a week. And actually, Sarah, who was in our piece there, she even told us that she would rather work at Aldi or another grocery store for a year that it because it meant she would be in person than work an office job. Wow. Remotely. Yeah, really. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. They're ready to get back out there. It was good. It was good. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Savannah. Thank You're you. You're our lifeline to, to the youngsters. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm here for you. <laughs> I'll get them to tell us anything. All right. Coming up next.